Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness and I hope you're having a really lovely day so far. In today's video, we are just going over a couple of things that we can do to prepare for the upcoming update since it can be a little bit overwhelming and daunting with all the new items and new things that we can do, the new DLC, there's a lot. So what can we do to prepare for it? I'm just gonna go over a couple of things that I'm going to do and I hope you find this video helpful for you. If you do and if you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to join the channel. And with that all said, let's begin. So the first thing I am basically suggesting that everybody should do is upgrading your museum. Upgrading your museum will allow you to visit the beloved Brewster and the Roost, both that you'll find to the left of the art gallery after you climb up the stairs. The Roost is where Brewster will serve you a cup of coffee for 200 bells. It is also here where you will build your relationship with the cute little pigeon who is seemingly aloof in the beginning but will slowly warm up to you after you enjoy a cup of hot and steamy coffee with him on several occasions. The second thing to do is to unlock Harv's Island to access all the NPCs by unlocking a permanent spot for these traveling vendors. Now Harv will have some friends on the island. Harv's Island was originally a place that you can visit to sort of play around with the cataloged items and different customizations, but now with the new update, it has expanded to an open market where other NPCs will set up shop, provided that you bring the bells to set up a place for them. We'll be seeing the following NPCs. Shampoodle, which is Harriet's hair salon. Sahara, of course, we're familiar with her, where she'll bring us really awesome rugs and wallpapers and flooring. And Kix with his shoes, bags, and socks. Red with paintings and sculptures. Obviously, be wary of the fake ones. Leaf with bushes and crops and even pumpkin starts and flowers. And then retail with Reese and Cyrus, and that is their customization shop, which will allow you to customize items that are redeemable through Nook Miles. And this open marketplace will be accessible behind this cute little clothesline on Harv's Island after the update. We also have Katrina's Fortune Shop and Tortimer, which will allow you to access the storage facility on your main island. The third thing to do is to pick a land ordinance. So ordinances basically controls the operational hours and functions of your island and it can be changed by speaking with Isabel and is then in effect the following day at 5 a.m. So there are a couple, so let's go over them. First, we have the beautiful land ordinance, and this basically reduces the appearance of cockroaches, weeds, and garbage. And there's also a greater likelihood of hybrids spawning, and villagers will finally put in additional effort and water flowers more often. This is also best for players with limited time because there is less maintenance in the overall appearance of the island. The next ordinance is the early bird ordinance. This is where villagers will wake up very early and are active a lot earlier in the day and shops will open a little bit earlier as well, and based on previous games, we're estimating at least by three hours. And this is best for your early morning players so that your villagers will be up around the same time that you log on to the game. The third ordinance is the Night Owl Ordinance. So sort of like the early bird ordinance, we are seeing that villagers will go to bed a little bit later than usual and are more active during the evening hours. And based on the previous games, we're seeing an extension of store hours to be opened a little bit later, around three hours as well. And obviously this is best for your nighttime players and your night owls. 
Lastly, we have the Bell Boom Ordinance and basically we're going to be seeing a little bit of discounts on some products and items. We're going to see better sale prices, so like turnips or even just selling regular items in general. And based off of previous games, it is expected that we might see a 1.2 times increase in purchase and sale prices. And of course, this is really good for your little entrepreneurial and businessy type of players where you're just making your bells and have that business mindset. The fourth tip in preparing for the update is to create a farm to grow some crops. Now, with all of these crops coming in the new Animal Crossing update, some players have found themselves wondering if a farm is the best way to group these crops together, and quite honestly, you do what's best for your island. I mean, aesthetics, functionality, whatever fits your needs, and the overall theme of your island should dictate whether you create a farm or not. Personally, I have created them on my islands, on the two islands that I play on, and I also think that with the abundance of the new recipes and crops, it will be convenient to have all of your harvest in one area, but again, it's important to play it the way that you want and as you wish. I do have this little farm here, it is Bo's farm that is sort of seasonal and then to the left he has this year round lavender farm and I just will probably shift things around a little bit and he'll become a full time just the cutest farmer you'll ever see. <laughs> So this does bring me to my next point. Put on your chef hats and aprons, bring an empty tummy because there will be so many new food items in the new update. A few are seen in the trailer and they're the mushroom salad, minestrone soup, veggie sandwich, flour, bread baskets, and so much more. I'm so excited to see what recipes can stem from all the ingredients we already have on our islands. I mean, we have fruits, mushrooms, pumpkins, all the new crops such as carrots, potatoes, wheat, sugarcane, and tomatoes. What are some recipes that you think will be showing? If you watched the trailer and something kind of pointed out at you and you saw a recipe maybe you're familiar with, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. The next thing is to do some Nook Miles chores. Do some chores around the island to increase your total Nook Mile points, especially the daily ones that are times five times two because they will be giving you so much more bonus points and with those you can redeem the new Nook items that are only redeemable with the Nook Mile points. And honestly, these tasks are usually really simple and you can complete them just by catching some bugs, fishing, cleaning up your island, or watering your flowers. I already got one by picking some mushrooms today, so really simple and to rack up these points are going to be super convenient for you to purchase the items that you need and want. The next thing to do is to free up some space by the dock. And honestly, this is a really minor one, but I have visited islands that sometimes the dock is blocked and this is a really important spot in the upcoming update because we will be seeing the return of an old NPC, Captain our sea turtle. He will be taking us to Mystery Islands where we can harvest new material and experience more adventures. So if your dock is not that accessible, I do advise that you clean it up a little bit or maybe just give yourself a little bit of path so you can give the captain a little visit once in a while. So the next thing is to decide if the Happy Home Paradise DLC is a buy for you. Think of it as a job perhaps an enjoyable one where you will become an interior designer. With the Happy Home Paradise DLC, you will work at a resort that provides vacation homes to all of the cuties you already know, your villagers. They'll have requests such as themes, certain items, and the season or terrain in which they would like their vacation home to be in. This expansion pack will be an amazing addition to the game. And I personally believe an explosion of creativity from players. 
You'll have control over the design of hospitals, restaurants, schools, the time of day, the seasons, and even the weather. We see the introduction of soundscapes, light levels, items like the partitions, counters, and pillars, but there is so much more. Players can also now polish items, which creates radiance and sparkles on the furniture. And as you spend more time working at the resort, villagers back home might even ask for some design favors on your island. But don't worry, you won't be working for free. You'll be getting paid in Pokey, which is the currency to purchase rare items at the Happy Home Shop. And if this sounds enjoyable to you, Remember that the DLC is 100% optional and will only provide more avenues of fun and creativity. Personally, I'm really excited for all of this, so I will be pre-ordering this on its release date of October 29th. Let me know what you think and tell me if you are excited to buy the expansion pack and maybe some of the new items that popped out at you during the trailer that you're very excited to use. Because as you visit the resort more often and work there more often, you will be able to use those items on your main island as well. So my last two points kind of tie together very closely but i wanted to remind you guys that this game is meant to be enjoyable and it is neither a marathon nor a race play and enjoy the game at your pace and don't compare your island to other people's because at the end of the day your island is yours and no one else can say that you made it and created it it's okay to take inspiration from others as long as it is accurately credited and that's really the beauty of this game. Everyone brings a little piece of their own creativity and then we're blessed with all the talent of every player. And of course, with that all said, I do want to say don't forget to have so much fun, play at your own pace again, and thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you guys found it helpful, and let me know in the comments if there was anything that I missed, and I'll see if I can answer it to the best of my ability, or maybe just share your favorite moment and what you're looking forward to in the upcoming update because i know i have so many things i'm looking forward to i mean the new items and the new recipes and cooking i'm super excited so i can't wait to see where this takes all of us and the community itself thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to spend some time with me and to watch this video i appreciate you so much and i hope you have a lovely lovely day until next time and my next video I will see you soon. Bye!